obesity and cancer risk in childhood cancer survivors. A recent study highlights how obesity and physical activity impact cancer risk in childhood cancer survivors. This is crucial information for anyone concerned about long-term health after cancer treatment. Childhood cancer survivors face a unique challenge, an increased risk of developing new cancers later in life, known as subsequent neoplasms. Dr. Linat Jaffe from Northwell, New York, led this significant study. They analyzed data from over 22,000 survivors from the Childhood Cancer Survivor Study, tracking their health for decades. The study's findings are stark. Obesity is strongly linked to an increased risk of developing these subsequent cancers. Specifically, obese individuals were more likely to develop cancers in solid organs, the central nervous system, and the skin. The relative rates paint a clear picture, 1.22 for solid organ cancers, 1.47 for CNS tumors, and 1.30 for skin cancers, all indicating a higher risk for obese survivors. But there's good news too. Physical activity offers a protective effect against these risks. Survivors who engaged in moderate physical activity showed significantly lower risks for solid organ, CNS, and skin neoplasms. The relative rates demonstrate this benefit, 0.61 for solid organ cancers, 0.65 for CNS tumors, 0.50 for skin cancers, and 0.72 for all subsequent neoplasms combined. This study underscores the profound impact of lifestyle factors on long-term health for childhood cancer survivors. The researchers concluded that maintaining a healthy weight and staying physically active can significantly reduce long-term cancer risks, even decades after treatment. Therefore, it's crucial to monitor BMI and encourage physical activity in cancer survivors from a young age to improve their long-term health outcomes. 